Hi guys, Simon Expert is here and today we will obtain the expression for the frequency of charge oscillation in an LC circuit. We will consider a certain period of time t after which the switch is closed and uh, when q the charge is less than q max and the current i is less than i max. So this means that at this time both of these elements store energy and the sum of them is equal to the total initial energy of the LC circuit at time t equals zero. So we have the total energy u equal to uc plus ul and equals q squared over 2c plus li squared over 2. Now here we assume that there is no resistance in the LC circuit. This means that the total energy is a constant. Therefore, derivative of energy by time, du over dt, equals zero. And equals derivative by time of this expression, q squared over 2c plus li squared over 2. And here we obtain q over c times dq by dt plus li times di by dt. We have these two terms because both charge and current depend on the time. So here let's recall that the current i is the rate of change of the charge. So i equals dq by dt. Therefore, derivative of the current di over dt is equal to the second derivative of charge by time. Okay, so knowing these two expressions, we can substitute them over here to reduce our formula. And we get q over c plus l times second derivative of charge by time equals zero. Okay, uh, so here is what we obtained. Let's change this expression a bit. We will have the second derivative of charge by time equal to negative q over LC. Now this equation has the general solution in the form q equals q max times cosine of omega t plus phi, where q max is the maximum charge of the capacitor and uh, omega is the angular frequency. Now let's take this expression into our formula with derivatives. We have second derivative of q max times cosine of omega t plus phi And on the right side, we have negative q max times cosine of omega t plus p divided by LC. Now let's find the derivative. We will get negative omega squared times q max times cosine of omega t plus p equal to negative 1 over LC times Q max times cosine of omega t plus V. All right, so here is this big formula we obtained previously. And here basically everything cancels out except the angular frequency. So we have omega equals the square root of 1 over LC. So this is the formula for the angular frequency and it means that our LC circuit is an oscillating circuit. And now we just need to transition from the angular frequency to a simple frequency. And this is very easy. F, the frequency, equals omega over 2 pi. And we get 1 over 2 pi times the square root of LC. So here is our expression for the frequency of charge oscillation in the LC circuit. 
subscribe to our channel, and I see you soon.